And now our Toastmaster, Pooja Sarin, she is here in the right place at the right time to give away her second icebreaker. She is a Toastmaster from December 2021, and her mission is to bring the emotional dynamics back in business. She is an internationally certified NLP trainer, an emotional intelligence trainer, and her area of research is neurobiology of emotions. And here are her eyes. I know Pooja Sarin, I know now. Over to you. What are you doing under the table, Pooja? Get up, board is up here. That was my kindergarten teacher. I was four years old and this was my first day in my school. I was excited and thrilled, not because I liked the school, because I had the new school bag, the Tiffin box, the pencil box, the Natraj pencil, and my favorite pink strawberry scented and strawberry shaped eraser. And just when ma'am decided to teach us letter A, I, dis I realized I have lost my eraser. And I was looking at it under the table. That's where I heard Mrs. Pinto shouting at me. Good evening, lovely guests, distinguished Toastmasters and my winner circle. Raise your hands if you have ever forgotten pens, pencils, keys, phones. Wow, I must take the screenshot and see and show it to my mom because it's normal, but it was too normal for me. I know now why. Let me start by introducing myself. I am Pooja Saran. I was born on 21st June, 1980 in a family which already had five members. I was pretty late to join the family. In fact, almost that late when my mother decided to shove off all the old clothes, little clothes of my senior siblings that she decided that she'll not be eating anymore. Well, I was known as the Wonder Girl, not because I was heroic or courageous, but because I kept wondering where I'm losing my stuff, starting with that pink eraser. I lost my pencil box. I lost hundreds of sharpeners. I lost pens, papers, notebooks, everything. In fact, I remember one day I came back home without the school bag. Can you imagine that? That was my speciality, losing stuff. I also kept forgetting the days. There were times I prepared whole night for history, Alexander the Great, only to go to the school in the morning and realize it was Einstein. It was science paper. That was what I was. I had another quality except for losing the stuff or making them disappear, I was always late. Fun fact, I never attended the school assembly because I was always standing behind the gate waiting for assembly to get over so that I can enter the school. Being late was a kind of thing that was a trend for me. I was late for my first date. I was late for my own wedding. In fact, I continued the trend when I gave birth to my child, she was supposed to come on 2nd June and she came, I decided to bring her on 22nd June, 20 days late. Well, growing up, this was my life. I kept forgetting stuff. I kept forgetting days, important events. This was my struggle for the whole life. So much so that I decided maybe I'm not a good person because I also kept forgetting the important events of my children. There were times I forgot to pick up my child from the school. So that voice continued inside me. Maybe I'm just not a good wife. Maybe I'm just not a good mother. Maybe I'm just a bad person, very, very bad person. That was my whole story. Just one day of enlightenment. At the age of 40, when my energy levels went down, 
I decided to visit to a doctor, just thinking that she might prescribe some energy pills. But to my surprise, she told me, to, she asked me my anxiety levels, my time management, my sleep patterns, and my memory. And she suggested me to go to a psychiatrist. And that psychiatrist gave me my uniqueness. I had ADHD. Yes, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. This syndrome or disorder had so many things as a myth on YouTube. In simple terms, I was suffering from time blindness. I lost track of time for things which caught my attention. Something while going to school, looking at the tap flowing, the water flowing from the tap, the texture of the porridge that mom made, the butterflies, that's what caught my attention. And as the name suggests, it was difficult for me to keep my attention at one place for a longer time. That night, when I came back home, I cried the whole night. It was like my whole movie, my whole life was running in front of me as a movie. All the puzzles fit in. It all made sense to me, my forgetfulness, my not being able to remember things. My NLP and psychology training helped me in taking things in a new light. This was my uniqueness. Yes, I forget things. I know now. Yes, I am different. I know now. I need different time management skills. I know now. I forget important events still of my kids, but I am not a bad mom. I know now. I know this is what I am. I am happy to lose tracks of by hugging and kissing and spending time with my kids. How powerful it is to accept what you know now about yourself. So today, Toastmasters, I want to leave with this question. What are you accepting that you know now? Over to you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Pooja Suren. Destination. Whether you think you will succeed or not, you are right. By Henry Ford. Our every thought and every action stems from the way we see ourselves. Now, we have, we have our second speaker who is going to show us who she is. For me, she is a curriculum and student analyst in an international school based in Kanti, Sri Lanka, and an English language and literature teacher for a high secondary grades. His, her favorite leisure time activities are reading and baking and also loving cats. Farvi, path to success. Path to success, Farvi. Am I audible? The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. This quote by a renowned American poet, Robert Frost, has been stuck with me ever since I learned it in my sixth grade. And now I find this the most apt way to introduce myself. Distinguished Toastmasters, Toastmaster of the day, good day to you. I'm the third child of five, growing up with a hardworking brother and an overachieving sister wasn't easy. My younger siblings, of course, would have a different adaptation to say growing up with a group like me. In school, I was an average student, always wondering what my ambition was. What would I be one day? 
I'm sure that some, if not most of us here, would have faced the very same question at some point in their lives. And why not? All our lives have been filled with a certain identification, a certain structure, and that's what we seek to create and reinforce in our lives. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we seek structure. I was never good with numbers in school. And, and I'm ever more grateful because I've never used the Pythagoras theorem ever in my life to date. After my high school, I wanted to learn journalism, but the college was in Colombo, more than 100 kilometers away from home. So naturally, like many Sri Lankan parents, my father did not really encourage me to pursue in that career or moving away from home. So while waiting for my advanced level results, my school asked me if I could volunteer as an English teacher for a special project class of school leavers who were older than me. At this point in my life, I never really wanted to be a teacher, but I couldn't say no, as my father was the director of studies in my school. This chapter in my life was like the Volta of an Italian or Petrarchan sonnet, the changing point in my life. Now, as a teacher for more than a decade, I could say that I did not choose this profession, but this profession chose me. And now I wouldn't trade this for anything else because this is one of the most rewarding professions. As a teacher, I learned to allow life to create its magic. So now I have never regretted not becoming a journalist. Why? Because God has created that magic in my life and he never stops making it better. You will not always get what you want. You might sometimes get something that might make you better as a person. It might be what you are made for. We have to accept it to do the wonders. As it is in our hands to make the circle that we are in the winner's circle. Whatever the path we choose, do not settle. Excel in it. Because, my friends, the woods are still lovely, dark, and deep. And we have promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep. Success does not have a defined path. Rather, we create our own roots in the path that we are in. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. That was amazing for me. Thank you. Success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. Life's battle don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is a man who thinks he can. And the destination is the winner's circle. With this aspiration comes Shamima, a finance professional living in Doha for six years, joined Toastmasters last year and super excited to explore the world of public speaking. Whatever happens, Shamima, Shamima, whatever happens. Am I audible?
my life is full of surprises. Whatever has happened in my life has been abnormal and unexpected. Even my birth. Do you know my mother's doctors had firmly told her that she could never have a child after she had more than three miscarriages. But do you also know what happened after that? Surprise, she got pregnant with me. And the most unbelievable part here is that she understood that she was pregnant only after she was five months. This was a bigger surprise to my family as well as her when all hopes had lost after what the doctors had told. Being an only child for my parents and also being the youngest out of all my cousins, I had so many privileges as a child. In fact, I was treated like a princess by my both maternal and paternal families. This is one of the most cherishable memories I have of my childhood. Even at school, I was faculty's favorite, a straight A student who excelled in all her exams, did well in all the extracurricular activities. So like every other Sri Lankan parent, my parents also thought I would end up becoming a doctor in future. Eventually, this became my goal as well. But unfortunately, here comes another surprise to me. I could not get selected to medical school. This really devastated me and also my family. The future I had envisioned suddenly went all blank. I could not see anything. Everybody started advising me to a point where I got frustrated with my life. But I did not give up. Rather, I surprised everybody by completely changing my field of study and becoming an accounting student by registering myself for Zim. Until today, I don't know why I made such a rash decision at that time. But even today, I don't have regrets about that because even though that subject was completely new to me, with a little bit of hard work, I managed to become one of the top performers at my college. After three years, I graduated and secured my very first job. I was so happy and excited to finally start my journey in the corporate world away from home. But surprises and shocks never leave me alone. Life brought me into a challenging situation when my dearest father got diagnosed with a terminal cancer. This hit me really hard. I wanted to leave everything behind, come home and stay beside him. But my father, who was also my biggest support system, didn't want me to do so. Rather, he motivated me to stay back and achieve my goals. My father, who always longed to see me married to my husband Salman, surprised us all by giving up his fight, fight just two days before my wedding. Yes, my dear friends, just two days. So you see, my friends, my life has always been full of surprises. Some were delightful and some were so shocking. Yet life had been going without any regrets. Today, I am married to a wonderful family, living here in Qatar with my ever supportive husband and a naughty little brat, and also working for world's number one airline. And what else? I'm also a charter member of the most happening Toastmasters club in town. So whatever happens in life, always happens for good. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Well, 
well said what you think you are you are in the right place at the right time thank you shamima he slept beneath the moon he basked beneath the sun he lived a life of going to do and died with nothing done by james albury our own toastmaster karina would like to break this and do something to reach her destination and be in the winner's circle our fourth icebreaker speaker karina nay she is currently working as an investment banking analyst on mergers and acquisitions as well as capital raising mandates a brief introduction karina nayar karina nayar a brief introduction uh can you hear me fantastic uh thank you madam toastmaster uh hello everyone uh, good evening to my fellow toastmasters and uh, distinguished guests today i'll be speaking a bit about myself uh i was born and brought up in mumbai and completed my undergrad education there after completing my degree i went to singapore to study for my masters degree in finance from singapore management university a leading business school ranked fourth in asia for its postgraduate programs after completing my tertiary education i started working as an investment banker for a us based mna firm and have been doing so for the past 2 years here i support my managing director with sell side mergers and acquisitions transactions and capital raising mandates across a variety of industry segments from it to chemical industry a bit about my parents uh prior to relocating to qatar my mom used to head the subscriptions department at a leading publication house in india currently she has a small business in qatar my dad relocated to qatar 10 years ago he started an it services company which he is currently busy with some of my hobbies include uh cooking playing video games and reading after a long day of work any of these activities is something i enjoy doing i particularly love experimenting with various recipes to make something new cooking is some somewhat of a stress buster for me i also uh, as mentioned previously enjoy playing video games one of the games i like to play online is a strategy card game called gwent inspired by the witcher book series i also love reading uh topics that i read on can range from philosophy to fiction uh in the past 6 months or so uh, i have been reading a lot about uh, chalcolithic and bronze age civilizations in the mediterranean and uh, near east uh this has made me want to visit a few ruins uh, of these great civilizations i'm quite eager to someday visit the ruins of troy in turkey the lion gate and palace complex of mycenae where king agamemnon from iliad was once said to rule uh, the palace of nosos in crete with its beautiful frescoes uh, which are the ruins of the minoan civilization uh, gobekli tepe in turkey one of the oldest complex structures in the world dated to around 10000 bc and of course uh, the ruins of ancient mesopotamia in iraq birthplace of the oldest human civilization uh this was a bit about me my background and uh, of course my interests now as to why i have joined the toastmasters club as a banker i'm expected to have excellent communication skills and be able to articulate myself and my ideas well in front of clients and when i'm pitching and presenting opportunities to potential investors i hope my participation in this club will help me overcome my weaknesses with public speaking and make me a part of the winner circle 
Thank you everyone for your time and attention. Over to you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. That was wonderful.